Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome to the first video of my diesel month. Now we're going to kick things off with a couple of Thomas and Friends logos because there are a few diesels over there on Sodor. So of course today we're going to be looking at Iron Arry and Iron Burt by Backman, or just Arry and Burt, I don't know why they always have to be called Iron Burt and Iron Arry, but uh, there they are anyway, lovely lit, well they're not lovely actually are they, they're not, they're not all that nice characters, but the logos are quite nice. So I'm going to be unboxing these today and I hope you're going to enjoy it. So uh, let's get to it then and uh, see what they're like. And as you can see, these are in the sort of standard Thomas blister packs, which are very good, I think. Uh, they do the job just fine, but they are a little bit awkward for review purposes uh, because obviously whoops, these have been destroyed by opening them. Uh, that's that. But uh, yeah, I have managed to get, uh, I think it was Bert out of here without uh, destroying the packaging once before for the Thomas and Friends running session. I'm not going to go into how I managed that because it was a blooming nightmare, but uh, not, not to worry. Let's get on with this then. Okay, let's have a look at Ari first then. And yeah, I'm not going to talk too much about the packaging but I will just show you what's on the back of the box. Look, Iron Ari's eyes move side to side. <laughs> what's that little kick in the teeth to Hornby? And then over there you can see there's the list of other characters. Uh, there are some other characters on there in that list that I uh, already do have. But I suppose it would be quite nice to get a Toby or a Spence or something like that. So I will look into that. Okay, let's try and get this one out then. Right, I'm going to need the scissors I reckon if I can find them. Here we are. Uh, let's get him open then, Iron Ari. Sorry about this, Harry. Putting scissors near you, it will scare you a bit. It scares me a bit. Right. By the way, if this takes a long time, I apologise. As it might. <laughs> Blimey. These actually aren't very good scissors for this, are they? Oops. Right. Is that off? Yeah, that's off. I'm just going to cut down the sides. And by the way, this is the part where I cut my fingers. So, uh, yeah, if you don't like blood. Look away now. I'm just kidding, by the way. I hope there isn't going to be any blood. Never know, though. Okay, I think we should be there. Of course, this is one of the most uh, brutal unboxings I've ever done, I think. <laughs> ah! No, still not coming out. Yeah, yes he is. Okay, there's the loco. I think there's some instructions in here and things. <laughs> what a nightmare. No, here it is. Okay. Get all that trash out of the way. Okay, so there he is, there's Ari. Uh, let's just have a look at this. All right, this is one of those exploded diagrams. Yep, fair enough. Shows you all you need to know about the loco, and you can see the eye mechanism there, which I always find very interesting. But yep, that'll be useful when I need to service him, but uh, I don't for the time being. So uh, let's have a look at him then. Let's get him out of his little sleeve. And as I say, this packaging does the job. Uh, there's never a mark on them, really. Uh, so there he is then. This one's Iron Ari. And look at his face there. It looks like he's got a... a a hairy bottom on his chin. Sorry, I had to <laughs> try and find a way to say that which wasn't going to offend people. But that is what it looks like, let's be honest. But yeah, there it is. It clearly is an 08 shunter, isn't it? But it's nice and big and chunky. But that's what you want, you know, it's a toy. And uh, the engines of Sodor don't really look like their, their real life counterparts anyway. So I think this is the perfect model. Okay, so there he is. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, the other one then. What's his name? I am Bert, that's him. And uh, I've, I've shown you this one before, I think, haven't I, in the running session. And uh, I'm about to give away how I managed to get him out. So uh, here we go. Look at this. Little flap on the back. <laughs> little trade secret for you. It's actually a lot easier. Oh, there we go, perfect. But I'm going to throw these away anyway, because there's no point. Right, I won't get the paperwork out. But uh, here he is. Right, there he is. As far as I can tell, there isn't a lot of difference here. He's still got the, uh, the hairy bottom on his chin, and uh, yeah, it's still the same. Let me hold them both together. Uh, yeah, so my question to you is, is there a difference? Is there a difference? I don't think so. I can't see one. And if there is, it's very, very minor, but clearly they are both, uh, you know, the same model, essentially. Uh, and if there is a small difference, then there is a small difference. But uh, not that I can see, and as far as I can tell, they even have the same product number on the bottom. So it's a little bit naughty calling one Ari and one Bert, but I suppose they are the same, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, there they are. Here's a little bit of history on them then, and then I'll get on to reviewing one of them. Okay, let's do it. So some quick shout outs first of all to Patton Kesselring, Steve Rossi and also Tom and his son Elliot. Thank you very much you guys for getting in touch. So Ari and Bert are two class 08 shunters that work at the Sodor Ironworks. 
And the two shunters are actually quite badly behaved and they, they like to play tricks on Sodor's steam engines and they try to make their lives miserable, that sort of thing. Ari and Bert don't particularly like steam engines either and they uh, feel quite superior to them most of the time, especially Henry because of course he has to use special coal so they like to tease him about that as far as I know. And although they're always trying to scrap the steam engines, I don't think they've ever managed it yet but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's have a look at these chaps then and see what they're like. Okay, so there he is then. This one is Bert actually, so I and Bert. And I have been examining him closely and I found that there was a small difference. It's probably not intentional, but uh, on mine anyway, there is a small difference. And that can be found on close examination of Bert's hairy bottom. And that's not a phrase I like to use often. It leaves a bit of a, a nasty taste in my mouth. But uh, there it is. You can see that his upper lip has slightly less hair on it. Um, so yeah, I think... I don't know if that's intentional, it might be, but uh, that's the difference I've noticed. And as you can see, it is a very, very nicely moulded face there. Um, yeah, it just looks like it does in the show, doesn't it? Although sometimes I've noticed they don't have beards in the show, but uh, this one certainly does. But uh, okay, I'm not going to talk about the bottom and the, uh, his beard anymore. I won't say the, those words again. Okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look at some of the uh, the detail then and the moulding. So uh, let's look at the paintwork. It's clearly based on that BR green livery that you see on some uh, 08 shunters with the sort of wasp stripes on the front or actually the back. So it is a bottom. Yeah, actually technically that's true because the cab is probably the front. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, you've got the, the yellow cab of course with the uh, the windows which aren't glazed, they're just filled in because I, I assume the, the mechanism's probably inside there. But that's okay, I think it looks better for that and uh, you know, it's it's not very realistic really having cab detail on a, a Thomas and Friends engine or something like that. So that's fair enough in my book. And as you can see, you've got these uh, different, uh, well, I suppose one of them might be a toolbox or something like that, but you've got these moulded pieces on the side, which are just part of the moulding, but they are painted yellow, which is lovely. And that's basically it, really. There's not a lot of detail to speak of. You have got the Sodor Ironworks text on the side there, which is very nicely done. But apart from that, yeah, it's your sort of cartoonified 08 shunter, isn't it? With the external uh, connecting rods or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, it is a very nice little thing. And I will just show you Ari, uh, his upper lip, because you can see that there is a little bit more hair on that one. I, I don't know why we're talking about this, but uh, I wanted to find a difference, and I did. Okay, so there is Ari, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because, as I say, I think they are basically the same. But there is that one small difference I found, so let me just give you a quick close-up of Ari's airy... Oh no, let's not go there. Um, so yeah, slightly more stubble on the upper lip. Let me uh, bring uh, Bert back onto the screen again. Yeah, as you can see, slight different uh, beards. Um, I don't suppose they're supposed to be like that. They might be, I don't know, might be underestimating back then. But apart from that, they are exactly the same. Okay, well let's get them running then because I think that's what everybody would like to see. So uh, let's get on to that. And I do apologise for any unsavoury language that's been used here. But uh, I will keep it clean for children, I promise. Okay, let's go to the running. Okay, so there's Harry and Bert down onto the track, looking fantastic, ready to go. And uh, you won't believe this, but something absolutely glorious has just happened. And I'm gutted I didn't catch it on camera. Anyway, I put Harry down onto the track, I think it was, uh, to give him a little test. And I heard what I can only describe as a mechanical roar. Okay, and his face burst off him, it actually burst off him, and landed on the other track. And then Bert came along and actually ran it over. It was absolutely marvellous, and I am devastated that I didn't catch it on camera. But that, I suppose, it tells you a little bit about their character, doesn't it? They're, they're so horrible that, that they will gladly run over each other's faces. Um, yeah, it was crazy, um, and I, I hope it will happen again. Half of me hopes it will happen again, just so that I can catch it on camera. But uh, no, I've put it back on now, and it's okay. Okay, so they're about to couple up to a couple of uh, little trains of wagons, as you can see, which hopefully will look nice with those. But for now, then, let's give them a little test and uh, see how they go, shall we? So let's uh, do Ari first and uh, see if he will uh, eject his face in a violent manner. There we are. Oh, he's off backwards first. As you can see, it's a very good slow speed performance. Um, the only problem I do have is on certain curves they seem to cut out and the only way I've found to fix it is to take them apart and clean the wheels and clean the pickups and things but it seems to need it quite regularly so uh, yeah not great but uh, it's not a problem really, not for me anyway but it's not nice for kids to have to do and but then there he goes again just the same Quite a good little slow runner, to be honest. Okay, well, let's send them both back to couple to their trains then. There we go. 
Ooh, steady. Bit awkward having to do two at once, but uh, there we go. They're coupled, I think, so let me change their directions. Send Bert off first. And of course, Ari. Get them going at a bit better speed. Okay, and just coming around the corner, we have the third engine that's going to be running today, and this is another 08 shunter, a real 08 shunter this time. Well, it's not a real one, it's a model, of course. Um, but that is what Ari and Bert are based on. And also, out on the layout, there are lots of other sets of twins, so see if you can spot which ones those are. And I hear a wagon that's just derailed, so I'll have to go and fix that. But there is one um, engine out there which doesn't have a twin, so see if you can spot which one that is. Okay, let's have a running session then. I don't know who's going to come out first. Oh. Yeah, it looks like it was Bert. Harry tends to be a little bit slower than Bert. I don't know why, but uh, it's not a big problem. Not a lot slower, just a tiny bit. There we go. They are running very nicely now, though. Looking lovely with their wagons, of course. Oh, there we've got the uh, small 08 shunter there. That's also a Backman one, but it is very, very slow that one, and it always has been. But uh, I'll let you look at these very interesting wagons go by while we just wait for Harry and Bert to come out. I think they should be here any second now anyway. Let's wait for them. Yep. There he is. Bert's still in the lead. I suppose Harry will be. Oh no, Harry's actually caught up a bit. You see, badmouth your engines occasionally, and uh, they'll, be they'll behave a little bit better. That's exactly what you want. It's actually working out really nicely because uh, Ari is on the inside line and even though he's a little bit slower he does some catching up on the uh, curves. So yeah, he's actually going quicker now. Don't know what's going on there. Huh. Oh well, it's alright. Yep, he's overtaking folks. It's definitely happening. Well, there they go, together. OK, let's have a look at the ratings then on the Backman, Ari and Bert. Detail, we don't count the detail because uh, they're not supposed to be detailed models, but 4 out of 10 there anyway. Performance, 7 out of 10. They are fair runners, but I have noticed that sometimes they do stop inexplicably due to bad pickups or whatever, so that is a little bit of an issue. But apart from that, fair pullers and fair slow speed runners as well. Character, 8 out of 10. Plenty of character there. I really like these. And similarly, the build quality is just fantastic. They're very, very sturdy, and you won't catch these fall into bits. Value, I paid on average £55 for these, I think one of them was a bit more and another one was a little bit less, but about £55, and that's not too bad really is it, so 7 out of 10 there. Overall then that gives them 8.21 out of 10, and let's put them into the rankings, there you go, that puts them 23rd just above Edward and below the Hornby N2. Blimey. Harry really has redeemed himself now, hasn't he? It's going even quicker. See, they're, they're very competitive, you can tell that. You wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them, would you? You might end up scrapped or something. But uh, no, they're all right with me because I give them oil, you see. Um, but as long as you look after them, they're okay. But yeah, you really wouldn't want to upset them, would you? But this little 08 shunter is very meek. Never had any bad behaviour at all from him. <laughs> Alright then folks, well that will just about do it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed seeing Ari and Bert as much as I have and if you did please feel free to leave the video a like or even a comment because I do love it when you guys get in touch. 
Also, if you'd like to, feel free to check out the Facebook and Twitter pages, which are at facebook.com forward slash samstrains or twitter.com forward slash samstrains. And finally, here's a quick look at the Wall of Fame. Uh, I've been updating it quite heavily recently, so uh, yeah, if you can't see yours, it is just because I'm a little bit behind on that. But uh, I think at the time of filming this, um, I am up to date, but of course I do film a little way in advance, so uh, yeah, apologies for that. But for now then folks, that should just about do it. Thank you very much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your diesel month. Okay folks, see you next time. Cheers everybody.